Today I want to take the time to go back and look at one of the most important video games I believe in history which is of course where it all began Space Invaders. Let's look at it. <laughs> look at that background. That, and they had what's called a black white light so it's actually like a white light that gives that that color at the back there's two pieces of cardboard there there's a piece of cardboard going around the back which has a starry theme on it and we've got the planet which is just in front of it so it gives it sort of an extra 3d look and then of course down the bottom here we have the actual monitor and that's reversed reflecting up on a mirror which is two-way which provides the uh the gameplay on the back it really is ingenious for its time and with all the other artwork around the front of this I mean you can imagine walking up to one of these for the first time without any of these other games around just being stunned <laughs> absolutely stunned and of course the other really cool thing about this is that this this game has got left and right controls so no joystick here guys <laughs> left right and fire so this was really pre pre joystick and the funny thing is is that it actually is a really nice way to play especially with space invaders because you really have to do this sort of you know in out type of movement very quickly and it's actually really good to be able to do that you can sort of do that faster i think than you could with potentially moving a joystick back left and right so I don't know the jury's probably out on that guys but um <laughs> i actually do i do like it i didn't think i would but i actually really do like it occasionally i do stuff up though <laughs> my fingers don't quite do what i expect them to do um but it is a really really nice way to play all right let's coin up and have a game okay let's do it just listen to that sound <laughs> but it hits, when it hits the ship it just makes a sort of echoing like a reverb, not a, a reverb or it's an, like just an echo sound and it's, it sounds like it's got reverb on it as well it's just an awesome sound and that background thumping just resonates in this wooden cabinet in this big open woody cabinet it sounds really bassy it never comes through properly on the uh I'm not going to get him. Never comes through properly on the video when you're watching it, depending on obviously what you're watching this on. But I can tell you right now, this is bassy. And I had to turn the sound down a lot, guys. <laughs> it was like, this is like really almost on its minimum setting. And I know when you die, I can actually hear the explosion elsewhere in the house. <laughs> That's how loud it is. When you turn this thing right up, it's so loud. I can't believe the volume that comes out of this game. And of course, back in the day, if you had a ton of these machines all lined up together, um, wow, what an absolute symphony of, of noise. <laughs> it just sounded so, so, so cool. I'm going to get the uh, mothership. There we go. So you can see me doing the lines here now. Uh, when, you, when you first play this game, of course, there was no internet back in the day, so you just went across and just shot anything, and of course, they started rapidly coming down and you get invaded real quick. So it was only after watching other people that had worked it out that really you need to take them off and take them down in rows. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, and that's the way to do it so that you don't get invaded. They get to the bottom, of course, you lose the game. And that was another little trick where you could get the the uh, the guys up behind up the top and and then leave the bottom guys and you get bonuses on the later later versions of the spaces. This is the original, so it doesn't do that. And then they had ones where the invaders split. But we can have a look at some of those variations after. Let's see how we go here. And you can see it's a pretty low scoring game. Which is why it's hard to get up over that 5,000 mark. Why you really need to, oh wow, it's why you need to get the motherships. And I haven't done very well getting those, so this is not going to be a, a great game. I've got an extra man there. 
There are dip switches on here to change the number of ships you start off with and when you get uh, your extra men. I think the game actually supports like up to seven ships or six ships to start with. Amazing. Of course, they would have shut that down after people got good at the game. Otherwise, the, oh, the operator would make no money. <laughs> so what have I got? Well, it's a bit hard to see because my uh, cellophane is falling off. And I have actually ordered a new cellophane uh, from this old game. And they're just taking a while to, to get here. Oh, wow. Uh, which is a shame because I'd like to get that fixed up. Now, you normally don't go across like that because that's what happens. <laughs> uh, I thought I'd get away with it because there was one, one man gap. And now I'm in a little bit of trouble. So what am I on, 18, like 1820 or 1620 or something? And I'm really in a bit of trouble here because this is where you've got to get that fast movement. And I must admit, I've got to get the old fingers warmed up to, uh, to be able to pull this off properly. <laughs> it's pretty tough to get that sort of movement down. That's where it gets tense. <laughs> It gets tense. And you know, even my, my son played this, uh, you know, when we first got it up and running, and he loved it. My son Mitchell, he um, wanted to play again and again. And of course, you know, he's exposed to such good games now that, you know, why play this? And it's just, again, it just hooked him straight away in terms of the uh, challenge and playability of it. Because it is tough. What am I on? 2640. I've got my work cut out for me here. Deep in concentration. Whoa, that was a bit of fluke actually. But I'll take it. What I should be doing is, oh, you just can't sit for any, any period of time. It's always risky doing this, by the way, flicking straight across. I really need to start taking these bottom ones out and leaving some of the top guys. But you see the fire that's just coming out of these guys here. And I'm not gonna have a base to protect myself, so I really have to just try and get in there like that. Oh, wow, I'm in trouble. tried to get across and look at that guys see 3280 wasn't a good game <laughs> uh, should we give it another go come on let's do it and of course you could play uh, two players as well and go man about that was always uh, a nice way to to play and on the cocktails it would flip the screen over and give the other guy a shot it was a nice way to sit down and have a have a drink, of course, not when, not when uh, I was eight years old, but, and not when I was 10 or 11 or 12 and I was still uh, playing it. And in fact, it wasn't, I, I wasn't eight when I first played this, it was more when I was 10 or 11 when it came out in New Zealand. So it had been out for a few years, we we're a little bit slow to adopt an NZ, the technology. But uh, it did finally come here. Look how high the invaders are right at the start here. It's so much easier. <laughs> this when they start so low on the later levels where it gets tricky. And you can see like the bottom area here, of course, that is just cellophane making it green. It's still black and white under there, really. Going to get a little bit better on the motherships this time. So yeah, before they speed up, sometimes it's good to get them in a smaller pack 
and uh, get the bottom ones before they start getting too fast. Damn. Thought I might be able to get through there, but didn't quite time it right. And you know guys, I, I, I probably normally would like to have it up just a little bit louder than it is um, because the sound really does get your heart racing, but it just is just too loud for the house. <laughs> if I want to play, you know, late in the evening any louder than this and you can really hear it throughout the rest of the house, so I had to dial it back a bit. And I think it's there's a there's a sequence of and I can't remember what it is actually I think it's like what 22 or 26 you you shoot 22 or 26 times first time and the the mothership comes out um, and then it's a certain number 14 or something is it uh, no it must be more than that a certain number of shots afterwards the mothership comes out again I'm not in a good point position here but there is a way of counting. And it's just been so long, guys, I can't, can't remember all those tricks. I knew I'd get stuck in there. Not good. Oh, lucky. Gosh, look, I'm only on 1,900 again. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, wow. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Oh. And, and see, I, I, tell, I kid you not, guys, I seriously enjoying this as much as I did back in the day. As, you know, in terms of concentration and and just the <laughs> just the dynamics, mechanics of this game. It's just awesome. I never get tired of these sounds. <laughs> 2,440, so I did worse. Wow. Okay. Okay, guys, so we are on the main box. I want to show you a few other variations of spaces that I was familiar of with back in the day. Now, this one seems to look very similar to the one we just played. It's got the green um, bottom piece, and I can see a little bit of the red. There we go. They've, they've simulated the cellophane there by just putting a little bit of red on the bottom of the of the numbers which looks pretty cool but check this out space invaders presents part four you know i don't know if you guys any of you guys have heard of part four there was of course part one was part two there was no part three um different variations of course that came out but i think there was one called part three but this one part four actually came out around the same time as the original Space Invaders, and I always used to think that was really odd. And I chased this ROM down, guys, for a long time because there's something unique about this particular version that wasn't on the original, and I'm going to show you that. Let's coin it up and have a go, and let's see if you can pick it. You'll soon see what is different. You won't see it necessarily straight away, but you will see it. Well, first of all, this... The sound effects is really rank. <laughs> nothing like the uh, nothing like the one we just played. And I don't know if that's a sample problem that I've got going on, but this just does not sound anywhere near as nice. But anyway, so far it looks pretty much just like Spaces, all right? Like well, the same game we just sort of played. Got the mothership. Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> yep, on the part four version, the mothership shoots missiles down at you. 
And uh, I remember when I first played it, I was like, what? That was like crazy because, you know, all the other versions didn't do that. And it just freaked me out. <laughs> it's just so cool. And really, that's the the only difference with this bootleg version, other than the fact that it is called Part 4. I mean, there might be some slight programming changes and logic changes, perhaps, but I'm not that much of an expert to be able to pick it. <laughs> and you had this little thing in the middle here, well done Earthling, this time you win, so of course you didn't have this. Now do battle with our super forces. That's right, and it does this really cool little graphic and animation. So that's awesome. All right, let's, let's look at another one. All right, so this is Space Invaders Deluxe, or they also called this part two. And the interesting thing here, you can see in the background, it's mimicking in MAME the, uh, that cardboard cutout that you just saw on, on my original one. So. It would actually be really nice to have an original deluxe. I really don't have the room for that, but it'd be really cool to have both. I think the way that they, they did this and the, and the extra coloring um, of the invaders, it just really pops. And look at that, it just, it looks mental. That coloring looks so, so good. And quite well represented here in Maine. Um, not quite the same as having a, you know, a nice um, backlit cardboard background but still pretty cool so let's have a, a crack at the a deluxe or part two and uh, we're probably yeah it's going to be using this I think the same samples are shared it's a really crappy sound for the <laughs> for the uh, the main she just just not replicate the uh, midway one, the real one at all. But maybe it's just my, I've got a bad sample. I'm pretty sure there's a good one in MAME. It not normally doesn't sound this weak, surely. Wow, that's loud. <laughs> that's a cool sound there. Yeah, the colouring on here looks really, really nice. But again, this was done with the cellophane as well, cellophane strips. Obviously, uh, recreated here in Maine with, with real graphics. Oh, that's right, they had the flashing UFO. This guy's 500 points. And he flashes, so it makes it difficult to get. So there was a difference there. these little variations are uh, really really cool oh oh crap <laughs> wow and I like how when they go across one way I have this little animation which was uh, which was different on the deluxe. I like how the on the last guy, he goes faster one way than he does the other. Uh, it just puts you off because you try, you, you sort of feel like you've got the speed right and then of course he goes back a different speed, back the other way. And I think I might have mentioned this on a previous video, but one of the cool things about Space Invaders is the fact that the hardware was was so limited, you know, it was created specifically for this game using the, um, the 8088 chip um, was pretty new and all the rest of the circuitry was built from scratch around it and here we go we've got the splits and it couldn't handle the speed um, to keep the invaders going all at the right right speed so which is why they speed up the less less invaders you have on the screen it speeds up there's more processing power Oh, 200 for that, not 500, sorry. Um, so there's more, more power to uh, move the remaining ships and so the game sped up. And he didn't design it that way originally. 
um, but then thought, hey, this is a cool little you know, aspect of the game. And in fact, you know, it's such an important aspect. And I, I, I do believe I have touched on that before. Jeez, that mother shit's allowed. Um, but it's still a cool thing that he uh, that he found. And of course, he, and he also sort of based the game on breakout, which, you know, had the, uh, the blocks and the ball to knock the bricks out, turned it around, used all different sort of themes before he came up with a space theme and of course Star Wars was out at the time and he got um, influence from War of the Worlds to uh, make the space theme and then wanted to call it Space Monsters and then got changed to Space Invaders and so that's sort of uh, how that all happened but wow look at this 2500 I still haven't got anywhere near 5000 right see how difficult it is See, they're faster that way, slower that way. See, <laughs> you've got to get that just right. 2,770, and they got these gaps in the middle there too. Which, of course, wasn't on the original. And it tells you the what um, frame you're on, what level. Yeah, it's funny, you know, I mean, I always used to play with the joystick. Uh, now that I've got my own real game, I really actually, I think I actually prefer the buttons. <laughs> I'm finding this has almost got lag. Oh, that's right, they drop off out of the ship too, in, in part two, of course. It's all coming back to me. <laughs> wow getting challenging okay that was lazy 3280 all right well that's uh, space invaders deluxe let's have a look at it okay guys well now we're moving into some of the uh almost the remixes of the original space invaders so this was uh released by tato in 91 with space invaders 91 and or super space invaders 91 rather and and look to be perfectly honest, it wasn't a game that I originally played back in the day. Obviously the first one was the most nostalgic for me, but they've carried on the theme and of course so many games these days still carry on the theme, but look how awesome this is. This was especially good with with uh, with two players playing at the same time, so a great version of Space Invaders to, uh, to play with a mate. Um, so let's have a crack at a single player anyway. And again, I haven't played this for a while, so it'll be interesting to see how it, how it plays. <clears throat> a little bit more sound. <clears throat> and our eyes rapid fire. And they move a little bit smooth. I pick up these like Arkanoid. It gave me a shield up. So you can bit power up that way, which is pretty cool. So yeah, updated graphics. Faster, faster firing. Pretty cool. So if you do like spaces and you want to just mix it up a little bit. Wow, oh, that's fast. <laughs> then, uh, yeah, Super Space Invaders is pretty cool. How cool is that? How well, they drop like this. So they're always going to be as low as they are. you got to get them pretty quick. Get that power up. Oh yeah, we get some shields. You can hit the shields up there, and then they hit the shields, and they uh, and they die from them. <laughs> How cool is that? Ah, uh, that's awesome. Just great to see. Here we've got some ones that split like the uh, part two did in a different sort of way. They go big a pretty cool sort of sound too. There we go. Yep. Pick that up. Got the power up. Super fast. But yeah, this one, this particular game is, is really good two players. 
um, because you're playing at the same time, obviously. How about this? Just to mix it up. Now, the only thing with this, first of all, there's like spooky music. Listen to it. It's like really sparse and freaky. And the other thing is, is that the background here, just after a while, you just start, your eyes start just spinning out. It's, um, it's quite disconcerting. Uh, <laughs> this is cool. This is, um, what game similar to this that does that sort of pattern? Not Phoenix, one of those ones like that. Oh god, what game was that? Might have been Phoenix actually, yeah. Or hang on, no no no, the other one with the um the three ships that uh go from small to big. Probably not making much sense. <laughs> I can I know the game. I'd know it if I saw it. Mooncrester, that's it. That's the game. So yeah, it does that sort of spiral thing. Oh, that's right, I had this cattle thing, which um, Jeff Minter used to do this in his games. He always had cows. So these UFOs are trying to come down and grab your cows. You're trying to save them. Make sure they don't get taken. Leave my cows alone! <laughs> hey! Well, they haven't actually picked up any yet. Doing all right. So pretty cool how they sort of mix this up. And I don't think Jeff Minter had anything to do with this game, did he? It was the sort of thing he used to put in his games. Oh, I got perfect on that, so that was pretty cool. And then we're back here with another sort of mix up. All splitting. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nice little uh, change. From the original while still keeping true to the the style of play We're just having modernized graphics and there we go is it <laughs> nice having rapid fire <laughs> uh, get quite a uh, quite a long play for your you know, 20, I was going to say 20 cents, but maybe by the time we got to 91, we were putting in 40 or 50 cents. Well, you guys in the States would be 20, a quarter or two quarters. Can't pick that up without dying. Oh, they go back up. Look at that. Up and down. Wow. <laughs> well, at least I didn't get evaded, though. Ah, the boss. The boss. Big lasers. Wow. Ah! I'm not doing very well at actually hitting him, am I? Got, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I get him, he's going, going orange. On red. Hey! There we go. Get out of the way just in case I, uh, I die from his explosions. Probably don't, but can't be too sure. Okay, interesting. <laughs> so this is how cool is this, eh? How it's just been just totally remixed. So yeah, do recommend this version. A couple of others that we're going to look at too at the moment in terms of the progression of spaces. 
I got so distracted by those meteorites, I didn't notice at the side what they were, those guys were doing, but it doesn't look like you get invaded like the traditional one, which is um, not a bad thing, of course. Although without that, that was sort of one of the big things with spaces is you just, you know, you really freak out as they get low because you know if you don't get that last guy or even just any of them if they get down to the bottom and it doesn't matter how many ships you got left, you will lose the game. Wow. So yeah, that's, um, that's really cool. In 94 we have Space Invaders. DX. And how cool is that? <laughs> Big block text. <laughs> A great Vogue. Hmm. In 1978. Yes. Back when it all happened. Look at that iconic Space Invader. Put that on any t-shirt and everyone knows what it is. So let's have a look at DX. Now there was different versions you could play. You could play like the original one, there's a parody version, and there was a versus game. So again, another good two-player version. I guess we'll do the uh, the parody, since we don't have two players. And um, we've already sort of seen the original mix, I guess. So have a look at the parody. Now when you do the parody, it's always funny because you look at this and it's like, hey, hey, hang on, this, is, this looks like the original. But then you look at this down the bottom here. You think, hang on, no, 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 there you go. Completely changes. And if I got the, is this a little kiwi bird? It looks like a little kiwi bird. From the New Zealand story, right? I should know that, being from New Zealand, but... So, other than the graphics being different, this is actually playing very much like original Spaces. Even the, uh, even the sounds are pretty much the same. Yeah, how about that, eh? So, yeah, this version's very much... Um, an original feel, but with upgraded graphics. That looked pretty funky. <laughs> so maybe uh, more appealing for some of the later generation players. You still want to give someone the, the feel of original Space Invaders, but you don't want to freak them out with the basic graphics. Or maybe you've got a, a young child or something that you're trying to introduce to Spaces, then this is not a bad way to do it. And even the scoring, if you look up the top there, is, uh, looks like it's very similar. <laughs> Check it out. That's so cool. So yeah, this is pretty funky. Definitely one to, I think, introduce maybe younger kids. Still got exactly the same um, dynamics and gameplay to the original. It just looks funky. <laughs> so cool that Tade released these in the arcade as updates. You know, and it just goes to show that, you know, this was original gameplay and they still released this as a commercial game in 94. Um, which just, you know, again, just goes to show it, 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 this gameplay is timeless in terms of challenge and fun factor. Suck it. Suck it into the purple dragon. Or the pink dragon. It's going across the back here. I was trying to work that out. Oh, whoops. Wow. Ah, there we go. 
<laughs> oh, I love, just love these barriers. Reminds me of a game actually, all those light bubbles like that. Another game on the Atari 800. Oh, what was that called? Bandits, that's right. You guys with the Ataris, another game Bandits that had like the four colored balls and you'd shoot them and they'd break up and drop down out of the sky. That's what those barriers look like. And it's getting tough. It's getting tough, just like the original. It's, fu <laughs> it's funny though with these characters, it's just not quite as menacing. Like the gameplay is, oh wow. The gameplay is just as menacing as the original, but those graphics don't quite, in some way don't quite fit the, uh, the sort of way the game plays. So that's cool. We won't look at the other dual player and the original on here, but um, definitely check out TX if you've got main. And this is the last one guys we'll have a look at, which is Space Invaders 95. Well, I'm sure there's a ton of others um, out there, but these are the key ones that, uh, that I've recognized, at least from the arcade. Again, this isn't one that I played uh, in the arcade. It's another good dual uh, shoot 'em up though based on the Space Invaders theme and probably I think the best out of all of them. So Space Invaders 95, the attack of the Lunar Loonies. Really, really nice graphics. Um, and really, really fun to play with, uh, with two players. So let's uh, have a go. I love how it comes back up with this basic, like the original black and white. So let's, oh, how do we decide here? Okay. All right, let's start. Yeah, look at this to start with. It's like, hey, retro. And then it all comes all in color. That's just really well done. That swish right there. Oh, that's right, it's a bowling ball. I got the power up, I should have uh, used it to bowl them all over. Not sure what I'm supposed to do with that, if he actually came down. I, I think I did the right thing. Oh, we got this power thing, that's right. So you, you've got this power up. So if I hold that down and then let it go, you get a huge missile that goes through them all. Yeah, this is really nice, this version. I think out of out of all of them from a you know updated you know if you didn't if, if maybe someone didn't really get into the original and quite frankly if they don't you should kick them out of your house because <laughs> they should get into the original. There's so much to like about it. I love how that the slow down time. Um, but if they don't for some reason, then this is the way to go. And of course, playing this with someone else, you can play together. So it's heaps of fun. Look at that sound effects and everything, so cool. <laughs> ah, the graphics. <laughs> Look at these guys. It's just awesome. So uh, yeah, guys, I hope, uh, I really do hope that I'm giving you some incentive to check all these spaces games out because you are playing and we got this big bomb you're playing an absolute classic hey check that out bonus stage oh like the good old Galaga bonus stages Oh, that background is tripping me out. <laughs> so, so cool. It's the boss. <laughs> Whee! I love the music. <laughs> Got a bit of Benny Hill going on here. <laughs> oh, whoa. I need to get these guys. It's quite challenging. 
Should I be doing my, oh yeah, 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 should I be doing my power up? Didn't miss them completely, but I'm there. Wait, that's it, I think. Whew. So cool. Round two, Gourmet Star. It's a food production. <laughs> This is so much fun. This is actually, the funny thing with this is that actually, um, I mean, even though it's the Space Invaders type of gameplay, it's nowhere near the sort of seriousness, you know, with all the music and the colorful graphics and what's going on. It just, it actually just feels like just a fun, fun shooter. And Space Invaders is like serious. <laughs> it's hardcore, hardcore gaming. Hmm, getting a little bit harder here. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, chickens. Whoa. <laughs> Some steaks in the background there. I'm starting to get hungry. So yeah guys, and it's a shame I can't really show you here with uh, two players, because I think they're really coming to its own. I was supposed to pick that guy up, I wonder, when he comes down. Whew. Who knew, eh? So many versions of Spaceys. And of course, there's still more on the... Uh, Portable dot devices of today. But this definitely ranks up there as one of the best uh, modern equivalents. Whoop! And that's it. And of course, you can uh, continue. <laughs> okay, guys, well, I think that's enough spacey, so let's wrap this video up. And there we have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that, a special on Space Invaders. And please do subscribe. It's great to see a lot more people joining the journey. Um, it uh, keeps me fired up for uh, doing more. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, ciao.